All right, guys, thanks for stopping out on this warm July day here in southeastern Wisconsin. Today we're going to be having a look at the Promark Shadow GPS drone. Today we're going to do uh, a little bit more in depth on this. Uh, if you guys have seen my uh, unboxing and overview video, uh, I kind of showed you some of the features on it. And I'll put a link in the description uh, so you guys can check that video out if you want to refer back to that. Uh, but today we're going to be doing uh, a pre flight check, we're going to be doing the uh, battery installation and the uh, startup of the actual quadcopter and we're going to get this thing in the air for you today. Actually, I'm actually going to show you some uh, features of the app as well so there'll be some screen recording you'll see the app in action and I'll be doing some uh, voiceover on that as well for you guys but first things first guys we're going to take a look at the pre-flight uh, test on this or checkup or check over I should say. So what we want to do anytime you guys have a quadcopter and you're taking it up in the air you want to make sure that you're safety checking it. You're making sure that all the screws are tight in the fuselage. You're making sure that all the screws or attachments are proper and tight on the on the props. Uh, nothing worse than having this thing fail in the air and come down and either hit somebody or just actually absolutely destroy itself on impact. We'll get the battery out of here for now, set that aside. Um, first thing we're going to do is pull off these prop caps on here, uh, these little silver jobbies. We'll get these off of here and I'll show you real quick on one of these. Um, I usually bring a toolkit with me uh, when I come out to the field. I'm pretty much ready for anything at this point. If something should go haywire, um, I have all the tools that I need to make a re quick repair, uh, that type of thing. I also carry spare parts, spare props, that type of thing as well. But what we're looking at today is a pre-flight check. First thing you want to do is make sure that your props are on here uh, right and they're on there uh, snug. You don't want these things falling off in midair and again possibly causing damage to property or, other, or human life. Uh, on, the, on the Pro Mark, you can see that uh, there is um, a little cap on top of here and then there's a screw going through and then through the motor shaft. So this goes in from one side to the other here guys. You see the screw coming out the other side there. You want to make sure that those are in all the way and at least just, just snug. You're not building a bridge here guys, so don't reef on those things. You will strip them out. That's what you want to do on all four sides on that. And uh, once that's done, now I've done this pre prior to um, actually starting this video, so you want to make sure that you're doing that on all four sides of the quadcopter, and that's all taken care of. A couple other things you want to make sure of on the quad before you get it up in the air, or try to, is make sure that all of your screws are tight. Now on this quadcopter, there are going to be one, two, three, and four screws that hold the whole shoot and match together, the, the top and bottom half together, uh, as well as some on the bottom. You want to make sure you're hitting those with a screwdriver quick too. So get in there and snug those down a little bit. Now this is a fresh from the factory quadcopter. I haven't had it in the air yet. So I want to make sure that all this stuff is tight. Whoops. That all this stuff is tight and this thing is going to be safe to fly. So that one is in there. This one is in there. And this one is in there. On the bottom of the quadcopter you're going to find more of those types of screws. And they're mainly going to be on the fuselage. There's four in the corners here. The ones that are up on the motor pods here are basically going to be for, to keep the covers in place here. So there's one and two, and then you have two screw holes here, uh, which are going to be for the um, actual uh, prop guard installation. So let's go ahead and make sure that these are all tight on here. And I'll show you real quick. Um, pretty simple to do. Good to have the screwdriver. The screwdriver that it comes with fits perfectly in here. But I just happen to have this toolkit with me and a uh, little higher quality tools uh, that I have. I'd rather use those. Um, now, once that's taken care of and you're sure that all the screws are snug on here and everything is in place, you want to make sure that you're looking at the landing gear as well. Landing gear you don't want falling off in midair either. Sometimes, depending on what quad you're flying, that can cause an imbalance and cause the thing to actually hit the ground uh, prior to you wanting it to do that. On this quadcopter, this is a quick, re this is a quick release system. Uh, so essentially what you would do on this one, and it looks like everything's in place, but I'll go ahead and just show you guys anyway. I showed you in the first video. We'll go through it again. Uh, you press this little button here, pull it back, and then take the whole arm here from the bottom, hold on to it, and then actually kind of turn it out like a key. And you can see on here a little bit closer now that we're out in sunlight with a little bit better camera that there is kind of a keyway in there, and it matches up with this. So to put it back on again, you actually match that keyway up, and then you would twist it into place till it stops, and then the back just gets snapped into place. And that's it on these. So this is all taken care of. Our camera is all attached. Um, I did check that prior to uh, bringing it out in the field to start in the video. The camera's all attached. On this quadcopter, there are two 
uh, two, two connections on it. Uh, there's one for the actual camera itself um, underneath here, and there's also one for the servo motor that actuates the uh, pitch up and down on the camera from your remote. So that's all intact. Your uh, antenna wire is in place, not going to fall out. The next thing we can start doing is uh, going ahead and getting this battery put in and getting this uh, uh, quadcopter up and ready to fly. Hang with me, guys. All right, guys. Next thing we're going to be doing is installing the battery in the back here. And I showed you in my, uh, my unboxing video how to do this. Uh, there's some warnings on this battery we didn't really go through. Uh, they're telling you on here to charge only using the USB charging cable and up to 5 volt wall plug. So don't try running 12 volts through this thing. You're going to end up stressing the battery. It can actually cause it to explode in extreme circumstances. So use just a 5 volt wall plug. The amperage you can uh, switch off. I use a 2.4 amp charge on this, or I have, and it's still, well, still right around uh, 6 hours to charge. Um, there will be a video coming up on uh, how I'm going to be using, utilizing a hobby grade charger to cut that uh, down uh, to about an hour or less charging time. That being said, it is a lithium ion cell. Uh, the cells on these are a little bit um, more forgiving in that uh, there's a little bit more of a stable chemistry. Um, don't ask me why, if anybody knows, they can put that down in the uh, comments below. Uh, but from what I've learned um, flying quadcopters and uh, our other RCs, um, is that the lithium ion is a little bit more stable of a battery, a little bit more forgiving, a little bit safer uh, to store, safer to use. This still, you're not supposed to have this thing over 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius or incinerate it. Um, there is a risk of fire and burns with this as any lithium, uh, lithium cell. Um, so all the information on the back here, the, the build date, all that kind of stuff is going to be on here. And I showed you before, you have your LEDs on the, on the, actually on the top here, sorry about that, uh, that will tell you your battery power. So the first thing we're going to do is get this in place. Um, and you're going to see that there is a positive and a negative terminal on this battery. Um, and you have uh, corresponding tabs inside here uh, that that would fit over. So we'll go ahead and pop that into place. The battery is now installed. The next thing we're going to do is get this thing bound to the transmitter. Now, before we do anything, before we do anything, uh, I want to state this right now, and I learned this from True, Dro True Drone Reviews. Uh, Brian uh, has a video out there, and uh, he had mentioned that uh, a lot of people were complaining about these transmitters, uh, that the batteries were dying prematurely or just come from the factory dead. Well, there's a way to uh, kind of uh, work around that, actually. A lot of these cases, the battery is not actually dead. It's operator error. Um, and what you want to make sure you're doing before you even turn on your app or you even hook it up to Wi-Fi is that you are um, binding the quadcopter. There is a binding process that this needs to have uh, before you set up your GPS, before you do anything else. Otherwise, your battery is going to read zero. Once you get the app on and you get ready to fly it, your battery power for the transmitter, uh, the telemetry is going to show zero on the app. So you want to make sure you're doing that prior to um, anything else. Bind your transmitter. First thing we're going to do to get this thing bound up is go ahead and start and turn the battery on. And you will see underneath that these uh, lights are going to be flashing red. And you can see that right there. Uh, next thing we're going to do is turn on our transmitter. And we have power to that, and you can see down here that the uh, camera is actuating back and forth and setting itself up. Now we're going to uh, bind the transmitter. Binding it is nothing more than up and then down. So now you can see the lights have changed from flashing completely red to purple in the black, purple in the back, excuse me, and white out in front. That tells us that the transmitter is now bound to the quadcopter, and we can proceed with the setup. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and start up the app and uh, get that going. So stick with me guys, I'm going to get that set up and I'll be right back. Alright, so before we get to, into the app and before we do all that type of stuff, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that everything is calibrated correctly and you're going to want to go uh, and calibrate the gyros and then we're going to calibrate the uh, compass on here. So what we're going to do is uh, take both sticks with it bound, go up and to the left, and we have flashing. The camera is going to do its little dance again, and then we're going to go ahead and go all the way up and to the inside here. Now it's going to be in GPS mode, so if we take a look at our controller here, let's go ahead and start this up again. We'll go to controls, 
and uh, let's get this in the phone holder real quick here doing this all real time guys so bear with me and make sure on this phone holder that you're putting it in in such a way that uh, you're not going to be depressing any screen off and on buttons so that's that type of thing going on so now let's um, actually go out to the uh, launch area and we'll take a walk over here guys and I'll show you um, how to get this thing completely bound up and we'll take a look at that right now so give me one second to get over here I didn't set up my uh, pad here um, we're just gonna do this kind of quick so essentially what they're telling you to do is keep the drone level pick up the drone from the back and rotate your body in one full circle uh, 360 degrees the back lights should stop blinking and turn to solid blue let's go ahead and do that sorry for making you dizzy here and then we have a solid I call it purple they call it blue so now from the bottom of the quad we're gonna hold it we're gonna hold the quad straight up and down from the bottom and we're gonna do the same thing one complete circle 360 degrees and it says the front lights will turn uh, to a solid white Alright, set drone down to a level surface. Everything's on the screen here, guys. Set the drone down to a level surface. And we have a ready to fly. I'm going to let it sit for a minute or two yet to make sure that we have all of our uh, satellites uh, are up. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and take off. So Alright, guys, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and hit that uh, automatic takeoff uh, button there and get this thing in the air. And now we have liftoff. So you guys can see it's up there. I'm going to take it up just a little bit higher. And there we go. So now it's locked into satellites. You can see that. Uh, I don't see any toilet bowling right now. So it seems to be everything is uh, set up properly on here, uh, which makes me extremely happy. Let's go ahead and take this up just a little bit higher. And we're going to go ahead and start recording video. And there we go. So now we are actually All right, guys. Video, Looks guys. like we got her up in the air now. Uh, Taking her up a little bit higher. I'm kind of keeping it slow and low today. Uh, there's a couple of people in the park. and just wanted to be safe with this and be responsible. Uh, again, that and the fact that I started uh, I running out of battery power. Um, I got about 11 minutes or so of battery on this, but I still haven't gone higher. through all of the features on this quadcopter. I still right have to test the follow me function and a couple other things. And I want to get some higher altitude video and mess around with the camera a little bit more and make sure I'm giving you guys complete content um, I don't want to rush this and get this uh, just to get a video out we'll and get the, the whole back. video out so there's going to be a part three to this yeah, I wasn't planning on three parts but it look, looks like that's what's going to be happening I'd like to thank you guys for go. stopping so by checking out the video like the subscribe and God bless the Republic uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move that camera back again